I'm Evil Taz and I have a nice guide for you here. It's an easy way to make uh, a lot of XP, a lot of gold, and actually farm some decent items. Anyway, before we get into it, if you like the content, please like, comment, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Thank you for tuning in on my video, and yeah, we're carrying on here, so I'm in this town called Virus, 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 anyway, uh, we're down here in Hawazar, and the dungeon we're actually gonna go farm is this one right here, Ruins of Eridu. Of course, the map marker does not want to line up there, but make your way over there, and then we'll see things on. I want you over here. You have to be careful as this person found out. There's a lot of enemies that spawn in this area. So either kill them or zone right in. We're right here. Ruins of Eridu. In. I found this while I was just looking around. Um, I was kind of clearing the, the areas and such. I'm much further ahead in, in terms of progression than I am in my videos, but working on getting all the altars of Lilith and such completed and then feeding the zones as well right? as you can see anyway we're in we're gonna make our way around and the reason why this dungeon is so nice one it's so densely packed with enemies it's pretty insane those guys just run past them and they'll explode yeah you just wanna fight all these enemies you've got a good AoE here This stuff goes really quick. So again, you want to just run past those things. Oh, good, good boy. Watch out for the explosions as well. Time to do that. And the legendary is actually brain in here. I've been pretty lucky. I've actually got a major uh, legendary. But anyway, I like to pick everything up because I need the materials and the money. But we've got this crossroads. We're going to go down every aisle for sure. But we'll go left. If you have one or two stragglers here and there, um, I wouldn't worry about going back for it, just keep pushing forward. The whole point is XP per hour. I'm not sure how much it is, but maybe we should have it over there. XP bar at the beginning, but anyway, it'd be close to the, the bubble, if you think. My cooldowns still need some work, but you know, we do. I'm still figuring things out. I've just started experimenting with crafting and such, imprinting my weapons and stuff like that. Yeah, break all the containers as well, because th sometimes they do spawn extra enemies. If you're lucky, you can get my shrine that will help you out. The shrines are random. Sometimes you, I, I've had a green shrine. I finally got closer. Is it closer that I wanted? I forget. Anyway, I'm, I'm looking for a glyph. I need to carry on, because I'm getting caught up with my own device. But anyway. As you can see, we made it all the way around, and this is this layout is always like this. So you just go out, come up the middle, 
Keep going. The Cathedral of Light ordered us to cleanse Fort Eridu. At first, I thought this was a mistake. And then we're going to get the same thing up the here as well. It's going to go into a figure eight again. To lose our money. To the demon infestation in the lower reaches. I won't lose any more knights. Tomorrow, I'm ordering my regiment to destroy this vile building and hopefully seal these demons inside. Before, because you've got the a skill that makes you unstoppable it's definitely good because you can run right through these enemies but right now i'm getting stuck on them because i can't pass through them anyway we're at the cross again sometimes this chest is one of those chests where it spawns a whole bunch of enemies as well it's really good the name of the game is see right every one of And loot. Loot and enemies, that's what you want. We're exploding guys there. Nice. Okay. This is always fun when when you're AoE farming, especially in here. Things. For the sake of speed, I'm just kind of pushing on. You can pick everything up, like I usually pick every single thing up. And we are playing this on World Tier 3 as well, so it's not like you know, we're just breezing through this. The enemies can like be hurt. Hey, okay, just keep going around. This is where the boss room is. It's weird that some of these enemies don't show up. That gave us a level. I'm not ready yet. Of course, that one was a dead end, so... Yes, my, my path thing was a little off, but if we go down this one... Get us the other boss. And at the end of this one, you can actually shoot the stuff and rinse and repeat. But I like to give up the boss. So. And sometimes there's events in here as well that you can. Not my favorite, going directly. All right, pushing on. Looking for the big packs of mobs. Ah, here's the event. never get this one completed because always try to die.
reward. Takes a little bit of poison and then you're done. the full so this would be a good place to actually stop and and go sell but i'm gonna go sell and then we'll be right back let's just grab all this stuff because the items anyway we are gonna as you can see so this one sometimes has a loop like this um this time fortunately we didn't get lucky to have one Usually it joins right here, so you can just work your way around in like a figure eight again. Um, sometimes enemies randomly spawn on top of you as well. Where am I going? Um, yeah, they sometimes randomly spawn as well when you're on your way back like this. So like that. forward a lot of enemies spawned uh usual anyway it's always random i need more time the boss is very easy as well so it's not like you're gonna struggle with it as soon as you kill him everyone else dies that's it and you just leave the dungeon this is a good place to sell. So sometimes, it, 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 if you're looking for fast XP, do not kill the boss. Just kill the big stacks of enemies. Um, but yeah, if you mount and then you use your uh, your town portal, um, enemies tend to not really attack you, especially the lower enemies. Anyway, this is where you sell. But one thing I wanted to show you on my stash tab. These were the uniques we got. We did, we got one sacred, which fortunately is a low roll, so that would be something I would break down. This I've never seen before, but it looks cool for a, a ranged rogue. Um, yeah, we're gonna come over here to my bag, dash, and this is what I got um, while running that on my second time. Um, so. You know, I saw this. I'm like, ah, that's uh, that's kind of cool. I mean, if we get the ability to drop sacred uniques in there, then it makes it worthwhile. I've only got two uh, uniques. That's these ones, and I don't really understand the, um, the the skill on it, the aspect. Not really sure what it does by rearming itself. It does increase my cooldown by about eight seconds. My cooldown now is 40 it goes up to about 48 but because we've got cooldown reduction um with, with kills and such it doesn't really make too much difference um but this is my other unique which i got oh you'll see when i get it um but yeah it's pretty cool if core skill hits five or more enemies 35 percent of the resource cost is refunded and that's my core skill there so when twisting blades hits five or more enemies i get a chunk of my resource back which is very important but yeah we are at 154,000 xp i'm gonna run it again and then we'll be right back so we are gonna run it again see what kind of map layout we get this time so you do have to, if you don't want to go back to town and sell after you've completed it all you have to do is leave the game and then come back in and the instance will reset for you uh, if you're in a party, I think you just, um, I believe you just, um, disband the party and, and reform it. Get those guys to blow it full. Two. 
two bows. Mobs falling right on top of me, and I'm like, uh, that's not gonna be good. This is a bow run. I mean, lots of bow run. Right from top. Oh, oh, Sometimes you get caught with those exploding guys, even though I was in the range of a guy. Yeah, Colonel is always around there. I need more time. I did that because it bugged it. Hey, we'll 
be right back. I'm the other way. I mean, all you do is really throw some tunes on, kick back, and stuff. Do this stuff. Before you know it, you're already it. Oh, it's Butcher. I wonder why he wasn't taking any damage. So it is a dungeon. You can have a chance of getting butcher as well. Keep that in mind. Especially <laughs> if you're playing hardcore. A lot of exploding mobs. And that's where it will be done. I think that was about 9 minutes. And we are almost full. And remember, if you see a legendary on the ground and are too far away from it, I wouldn't worry about going back to pick it up. It will appear in your stash in town as well. You get the mist weed thing. How many uh, orbs is that? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Get the dungeon. We pull it back to town to sell and such. Yeah, rinse and repeat. Get lots of XP, lots of loot. We were at 100k. And we went in and we're at 400k now so it's about 300k um per run which you know, if you're listening to some music and such just uh keep that going and of course i've totally forgot to do it but if you hit one of these potions you get extra five percent xp as well um new mistakes new mistakes but, but that's it Anyway, what did we get? We got, while you have barrier active, there's a 7% chance to ignore distant enemies. Stack of momentum key passive. Heals you for 82. Yeah, it's not very good. When it's a flat number, it's not the greatest. When it's um, a percentage multiplier, then it's really good. Because um, then it scales with the damage the and such. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to break stuff down and keep running this. Going to throw some tunes on. Keep going. I will catch you in the next one. Hopefully uh, I figure out some new um, other other methods. Um, sacred, scattered prisms are something that I really am in need of. Apparently they only drop from like world bosses and I guess butcher as well, right? Um, large enemy. But yeah, you need a lot of this crafting material. Um, but when you want to start upgrading and uh, doing things, you know, all the, the min maxing stuff. Like I can't put a socket in this. Because I ran out of scattered prisms, for example. I can't put two sockets in my chest. Because again, I've only got one. 
So either I, and I just got it, either I put a socket in my chest or I can put a socket in um, the amulet. Probably the amulet, just because it will get me another um, 170 armor. Yeah, here's my gear, in case you're wondering. Um, I did, these aren't found legendaries, I actually made them. Uh, all the sacred pieces, that is. These, I still haven't found good boots to, uh, you know, take this skill off and, and imprint it on, on the boots. Um, but I am looking out for some. Uh, I do like this because of the um, the maximum evade uh, charge and the uh, the shadow step. Um, it gives me another charge of shadow step. Um, this I've been using for like forever, I feel. Um, my max twisting blades... Uh, bow and I made these as well this one this so it's all based around damage reduction and such and energy cost reduction and adding to my crit um, got this I made this as well so you can see everywhere where it says imprinted um, that's something I made um, but everywhere where it doesn't that's just a, a flat item that I found like that anyway Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.